to the first ever SourceFit Nerd Book Club. Woo! Woo! I'm Trisha Hirschberger. I'm Raina Scully. I'm so excited we're doing a book Me club. Too. We're finally getting to do a book club thanks to Audible.com. If you want to listen to books, as and opposed to reading them, or when yeah. you can't read them, like in a car, you can check out Audible.com. And you can get your first <laughs> book free by yes. going to Audible.com slash SFNerd. For our first ever SourceFed Nerd Book Club, we decided to go with Divergent. The movie just came out. There's a lot of excitement around it. Juliana Boyson at YouTube and Food says, this book is my second favorite right after Harry Potter. At D What's The says, I read all three books in four days. That wasn't healthy, but it says something about the book. <laughs> Johnny Salas at Chewage says, sweet, I just got done reading those. They're all fantastic books. The first one's the best, though. At Nutmeg Votor says, Divergent is a good book with an intriguing plot. I would recommend it. And Casey Bentley at Casey Bentley 15 says, great book and awesome series. A must read with a fun twist that doesn't destroy the story. Clearly, since you guys enjoyed it so much, we were super amped up to jump into the series as well. What would you say your overall one-liner review of Divergent was? I enjoyed it because I enjoy science fiction books in general, okay. but it was such a, f it, the formula already exists for this young adult novel. You yes. know what I mean? It's like you generated everything that you think a teenager girl would like and you turned it into a book. And it's lovely, it reads well. Um, actually, on Audible, I really loved uh, Emma Galvin narrating yes. it. She was phenomenal. Emma Galvin phenomenal. was fantastic. She's phenomenal. a voice actor that reads the book. and. Um, I, I believed her as Triss. Right? Oh, mm -hmm. I loved the way she voiced even mm -hmm. Four. Like, I can hear Four in her yeah. voice. I loved it. It was very immersive. Raina uh, may not want me to say this on camera, but I'm going to anyway. She thought uh, Emma's Four sounded kind of sexy. Oh, you know? super sexy. Yeah, I thought the book was great. I feel like it was a, a bit of a patchwork quilt of things I've seen before. Uh, that was poetic. And, yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, that's, you know, it's like, oh, I'm gonna steal a little bit from this young mm -hmm. adult literature series and a little bit from this young adult literature series. Like you said, kind of taking the stuff that we see a lot that we know works right. and putting it together in a nice little new formula and rebranding it a little bit, which, hey, that's okay with, with that. me. So let's hear what you guys had to say. Will Hadley at Emerald Eyed Hero goes, I loved the book and the rest of the series. The heartbreak and sass just keep Come in. It's true. Sassy is a really interesting way to put it. Um, I don't know that I would say sass. That wouldn't be the word I'd choose. Yeah, I mean, Triss, I guess, is pretty sassy. Like, she's supposed to be, like, shy, meek, mm -hmm. and not really belonging, almost, which makes sense. I mean, main characters kind of have that self-discovery. Uh, yeah. But sass? I, maybe. Yeah, sass. I feel like Christina had a bit of sass. If Christina. we're gonna go like characters that had sass, I think I think Christina carried that with the whole candor. Excellent gonna be point. completely honest about everything, a mm -hmm. little bit of attitude. And I mean, I feel like Trish showed that at times, but more more so, I would say Trish. Uh, I would describe her as unpredictable. She is. That's really you know what divergence, unpredictable. Yeah. yeah. Is that what divergent means? No, I think divergent just means that you kind of. It means you can manipulate the simulation. Mm -hmm. They don't actually define it, or I don't quite remember them actually defining it to be something specific, but it is supposed to be something in your brain. That I know I know that that's been debated through, uh, oh. for people that kind of watch the movie and like couldn't really glean from the movie what they feel Divergent is versus people who read the books what they feel Divergent mm. is. I mean, is di does Divergent just mean the serum doesn't work on you? Right. Or does it, you know, or does it mean that you're not... It, like obviously it means that you're not specifically one faction you have traits of all of them but right. then is the overall message of the story that everybody has parts of all of them it's it I felt that it was a little bit muddled and I'm sure people have their own interpretations of exactly what divergent means now granted I'm saying that one book in that's true. Of the trilogy. So That's if true. I finish the trilogy, I may have a much better understanding of that. Definitely. It seems to me like almost like a different brain function that they're just hmm. able to tap into. Okay. And, but it's not like active tapping into. They just kind of passively have it, and therefore they're able to recognize simulations to be simulations, I guess. But the serum yeah. not working thing, though, that does definitely play a factor. So well, maybe we'll see. Who knows? JJ at Fisheye JJ goes, very interesting read because it has both complex characters and leaves you wondering about our social values. Absolutely true. Once again, this is definitely the formula for, you know, um, young adult reading novels. Like I dystopian think. society. Definitely post apocalyptic. Or, Everybody loves know. post apocalyptic. You can't argue that. Right. One. And, you know, everyone's based on put in factions or mm -hmm. put in, in this case, factions, but in any case, groups based on personality traits right. and attributes and that kind of thing. And again, we've seen that before, Harry Potter much. It's fascinating to read and it's fascinating to think about could a society like that. Right 
actually function and actually work and that's yeah. that's what these books kind of explore so that's always awesome I totally agree it's really interesting because they decided to use virtues as mm-hmm. opposed to like straight up personality traits or like mm-hmm. I guess things that are just inherently in you maybe like rather than belief systems mm-hmm. and stuff they used virtues like you know dauntless is fearless and yeah. brave like random acts of or like regular acts of bravery mm-hmm. and uh, abnegation is complete selflessness a society can just sustain themselves by mm-hmm. truly depending on one another and believing mm-hmm. that you'll help me because I'm going to help you right. like it's kind of beautiful in that way virtues that's a really yeah. interesting angle to take I thought that was brilliant I loved the, the part of the book where they kind of described it where they said you know the world went to crap and the people that blamed it on cowardice mm. then are dauntless. Right. And the people that, so they, they showed you the people that blamed it on stupidity or ignorance are now the erudites. Mm-hmm. Like I, I loved, because that logically flows. Anytime I see anything that logically flows into the, from the world we have now to the world that they've created, fascinates me. Definitely. I think that's awesome. Raina, if you were going to, uh, if you were going to have to pick which faction you think you'd be in, what do you think? What I think I'd be in as yeah. opposed to what I want to be in, I'd probably end up being dauntless. I like the um, common act of bravery idea and their okay. motto of being brave for those who can't be. I, I kind of enjoy that. I like that. Okay, so you think you'd be dauntless? I think I'd be dauntless. Or you want to be dauntless? I think I'd be dauntless, and I I probably want to be dauntless. I'm usually one of those. You know, one thing that, it didn't bother me, but I kind of questioned it a little bit. I wanted them to go into the other world more. Like, it's supposed to be Chicago, dystopian post Oh, outside the wall? Yeah, I wanted them to be like, I know Amity goes outside the wall, but I wanted more about it. Like, why aren't they more curious about it almost? I would put a bajillion dollars that that's book two and three. Right. All right. Yeah, that's true. I'm I'm, I'm putting down a bajillion (laughs) dollars. And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry I don't have a bajillion Bajillion dollars. (laughs) Um, But that, I... No, you're talking I right. think we will find out you're right. what's out there in That's the further exciting. reading. At Jillian N. Irwin says, can we all agree that Peter is a demon? I love to hate Peter um, <laughs> because he's a dick. He is. Um, and Eric is fascinating. Like, I usually don't really like the villains, but I feel like the villains are written so well in this piece. Yeah, like the fact that Eric, like when she finds out that he was erudite, and he's like super smart, but that's mm-hmm. why he's such a weasel. Yeah. That's why he's so manipulative. I don't know. What about you? Um, okay, well, I truly, truly liked Four. Um, the okay. fact that he's nicknamed Four because of his uh, fear four landscape. Fears. It's pretty intelligent. Mm-hmm. Like it's intense. And the fact that he only has four. Everybody else has like what upwards of like dozens or so, and he only yeah. has four. That's I like that. Um mm-hmm. I also like that he's supposed to what, teach the new transfers, Mm -hmm. new Dauntless transfers. I really like his position. Um, I thought his character was carried out well. His relationship with Triss was very much young Did you believe it? I mean, I believed it because I understand the audience it's for. Okay, that's a good point. That's a good point. I totally immersed myself in that way, so I, I believed it because I wanted to, but... Mm, the maybe. whole, I'm a super awkward girl yeah. and you're this guy that everybody likes, but somehow you're chasing me. <laughs> I just don't know what to do about it. Isn't that the dream? That's the teenage girl That's dream. the young adult <laughs> dream. It is. So what do you think of the ending? I know the ending's widely debated. It was I so randomly, and uh, not randomly, but it was like really abrupt. Um, I like how it went from four being like, I love you. I want to tell you I love you. I'm not quite sure. Marcus is odd and... Now what? And the, and it just ended like that. <laughs> and I might be factionless. Yeah. The end. Exactly. Um, it's obviously the end of the first book in a series. I think Veronica Roth is definitely going for the cliffhanger, trying to leave you wanting more like a really good TV show and it chops and you just need more. Um, I think that's definitely what she's doing. It is a little abrupt that he drops the L-bomb and then it's right. like... But we're so depressed because we don't know who we are. Two minutes later, they're like, oh, it's still awkward. We don't know where we're going. We don't know what we're doing. Abnegation isn't there anymore. Dauntless is going nuts. Like. So I guess we just <laughs> have to think of it as not the end of the story. Right. We have to be very aware that it's obviously a part of a trilogy. And then so, you can appreciate it. Christina Marie at SFSFN Fangirl says, Take a test to help them decide their future. It's an interesting concept, but flaws are a thing and plot twists. Ooh. So speaking of uh, taking a test to find out what faction you are, I found a quiz! Oh no! This is on DivergentTheMovie.com if so it's anybody legit. wants to take the quiz at home. Okay, the time comes for you to move on. You choose to stay in familiar territory or travel to new places. Travel to new places. Okay. Um, choose an item to bring on your journey, a guidebook or a camera. 
A guidebook. From the options in your guidebook, you'd choose to join a group tour and see as much as you can, or see only the sites of most interest to you. See only the sites of most interest to me. When a crowd forms around a famous site, you join the crowd to share in their excitement, or stay out of the way and wait for the crowd to disperse. I'd wait for the crowd to disperse. When traveling on a budget, you choose to save money and live modestly, or live adventurously and trust in the kindness of others. Oh, modest. I don't trust others. Okay. <laughs> what do you think makes friendships last? Being honest and expressive or being perceptive and giving? Perceptive and giving. When two friends argue over a misunderstanding, you stay out of it but distract them to break the tension or step in and call them out on their irrational behavior. It's the former. I wish I was the latter, but Stay it's the out former. of it. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh! It's an upset. Okay, so... <laughs> It shows that you are mostly erudite. Interesting. Yeah, it says your choices demonstrate the virtues of more than one faction, so you're divergent, I'm scoring divergent. highest in erudite and abnegation. <gasps> abnegation? Mm -hmm. Ooh, surprising. I didn't know I was that selfless. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I, guess. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't know, know I was, I was nice. That selfless? Wow. You know, it's funny, like everything you answered, I would have picked the opposite. So really? I'm gonna to, yeah, I'm going to have to take this quiz on my own times. And what do you I'll think? I'll post it in the comments uh, what faction I Yeah, am. what do you think you're going to score now that you My kinda... guess, well, I don't know. My guess would have been erudite, but since I'm picking different things than you, I has no idea. Um, so thank you guys so much for joining us uh, on the first ever audible.com source fed nerd book club. This is something we want to keep doing monthly. So if you guys want to join in on the conversation next month on The Fault in Our Stars with Lee and Joe, make sure to listen to that on audible.com. Then you can tweet us about it. Hashtag SFN Book Club. Or if you have great fan art, you can always upload it onto Facebook with a hashtag SFN Book Club. Yeah, or you can tweet us your fan art as well. We love fan art, so submit that. And uh, if there's any clubbers out there, just like we did on Movie Club, who want to talk about your thoughts and feelings about the book, make sure you film yourself talking about it. Upload that video to YouTube. Hashtag SFN Book Club. You guys see a, a trend theme. here? Yeah. With the hashtags. Awesome. And we will see you in uh, approximately one month's time. I'm Trish Hershberger. I'm Raina Scully. What do you think your uh, fear landscape would be? Something involving water. I hate the ocean. I hate sea creatures, really? ocean. Yeah, I, I hate it. I don't know. It's a depth thing. Like, I hate big, open, wide yeah. depth. I don't know. Probably. Yours? Heights. Heights. I'm, I'm with four on this one. Mm, I see.